this is Shan, and this is Shan for Crafts. I want to thank you for tuning in today. Now today we're going to be doing something a little different. Today's project is, is a, it's a mixed media project, uh, but it is something that I'm doing um, as a gift, a, a gift idea, you know. It's a new year, and this is just one of the ideas I had. Now this would be what I'm gonna do is this would be a great gift for a musician or a singer, you know, who is just starting out and you know, uh, and you know this would be a great encouragement gift for that for that type of person. Okay. Now what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be showing you how to make a, a platinum record as a gift. Okay. What I what I have here. Now, I've already done quite a bit of it uh, off camera because it was a um, it was a a lengthy process, um, and also I'm trying to shorten my videos um, to make I'm trying to keep my videos now I'm trying to shorten my videos as much as possible. So I've done quite a bit of the work. I'll explain what I've done. I have a CD. Here. Now this is a, a blank CD that I have, um, that I get, that I use for for uploading my my documents. You know, I have like a whole bunch of them, and I just you know use one that you know I just took one out of the bunch that I had. And what I've actually done is I went ahead, and on the back of it, I went ahead and uh and put a CD white CD cover on it because I'm gonna glue this. It's to easier to glue paper to paper than plastic to paper. So that's why I went ahead and put paper on this side, paper cover. Also, I went online for examples of platinum records, okay? Um, the reason why I went with platinum is because I, I was thinking about gold but this is already the platinum color. The CD's already platinum color. So I just went with it. I didn't have anything that was gold. So I just used what I had. Now what I've done is I have this nice red violet uh, background. Now what I actually looked at after thinking about it. I wanted it to look kind of mature and unified. So what I did is my color scheme, I used an analogous color scheme. I use the colors of red, violet, uh, violet, and red. And because I wanted it to look kind of mature and, and pull together. Now, I did look at yellow, I mean yellow green because it's right across from that. But it, I wanted it to look kind of unified. Okay, so that's why I did that. And also... I have some other things I'm going to talk about a little later. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on to the uh, piece. I have some uh, craft bond glue that you can you can pick this up at any craft store. Okay, I'm just going to brush it on. Make sure when you use this type of glue, you're in a well ventilated uh, area. Because it is where we, the fumes are where we, they, 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 you can, it's where we toxic, the fumes. So you want a well ventilated area when you use this type of product. Okay, that should be enough. Alright, I'm going to put this right about here. Now what I'm working is a, uh. I have a, this is an eight and a half by 11 setup here. You can do a bigger setup if you, it depends on the size of your frame. If you have a bigger frame, then you need a bigger piece of paper and everything. And the placement will fall along those lines. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is let this sit a while until it connects with the back. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this here. Now this is a gray neutral gray because I already had the the purple red and violet and red violet so I chose this neutral gray for my bottom portion 
Now, if you go online and look at a gold or a platinum record, there's different styles, but I chose this one because it, it was just more simple for me to use. Now, I'm going to line this up and get this glued on to it. Okay. I'm going to leave just so much room at the top as I'm doing at the bottom. So, it's about an inch there because of what I'm working on here. Okay, so that's about where I'm going to put it. Now I'm going to get my glue on the back of this as well. And get this glued down. Now this here, what I did, because I'm using 8.5 by 11 uh, uh, piece here. My actual, um, see that's why I was saying that what depends on how big it's going to be. You'll, you'll see how to place it and how big, how big everything has to be in order to work on it. Now, I, I cut it this length because it just look a lot e more even. Okay, let me go ahead and get this on because it's starting to dry. Okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, right about right there. Okay, I'm going to press that in. That's another thing I like about this craft blonde glue. It dries um, clear. So if you make a mistake, you can always go back and scratch it off. You know, because it dries clear. And it does a wonderful job with paper. That's the I usually use hot glue for, for my projects, but today I'm using this because it's very important that it's flat, as flat as possible, so when it goes in the frame, it doesn't stick out. Now here's my next piece. Now if you go online, look at a uh, uh, a uh, a platinum record or gold record, you know that notice they have like the design from whatever the CD was. They usually have it down here on that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that glued on to the piece next. And I just use my 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 violet and my red, and also this for the emblem. I just use some gold stickers. I use four gold stickers together, put one in the middle, and then I put a clear acrylic bead to give it a little sparkle. I'm gonna go ahead and get that glued on. To okay. The piece. Now remember what I said about paper gluing to paper. Now this center part, I have this center part which is a. I actually duplicated this in a form of a circle to put in the middle. It's the same red, violet, and gold with the acrylic bead in the middle. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put this here. Go ahead and let that tape to that. Because it's easier to, t to, to pay, uh, glue paper to paper than paper to plastic. I'm going to put that in there. Let me get some glue on the back of this. Almost done here. Alright. Okay, that should hold. Get that put on to this. Okay, a little bit of glue is, is leaking out there. Let me get that off of it. It's okay because it's going to dry clear. If it leaks out onto the CD, I can come back and scratch it off later. And clean it up later on. That's the good thing about using this craft blonde glue. You can't go wrong because it dries clear. Okay. Now. For the bottom part. I'm going to be. I actually, like I said, I went online and looked at one of these. And this here is the little uh, information that they put on to the, um, the, uh, you know, the, the, about the, about the record and the record sale. Now this, I just did this for, uh, it says presented to Shane for Crafts to commemorate RIAA certified platinum sales of more than 1 million copies of the compact disc, I Love Crafts. I kind of made that up, but... That's that's generally how it how it reads when they um when you see it. This is the RIAA. Now what the RIAA stands for is the Recording Industry Association of America. 
they're the ones that keep track of, you know, how many uh, songs or how many copies of a certain song is sold. And this is how they know if it's a platinum or gold record. And I'm going to put this seal here on here that I made up. What I did is I took the red paper that I used and I drew a circle. And I just wrote I R I A A on it because I wanted it to kind of look like the real thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that on first so that way I can get my, um, my, my, uh, this part centered. Perfect. According to what I saw online, they started giving out these awards, these gold and silver, uh, platinum records in 1976. Okay, now I'm going to get this uh, glued to the back of this. So that way it can be perfectly centered between the two. Alright. Right here in the middle. Okay. Okay, get all that dust and everything off of there. Okay. Now, we got everything glued on to the piece. Now all we have to do is frame it. Okay, now this is the finished pro project. This is my uh, Art and Crash Platinum record. And this will be a great gift for someone who's in the music. You know, and this will be a great way to encourage them as they pursue their dream. It didn't cost a lot of money. Like I said before, the frame only cost about $3. And, you know, I already had the paper and the, the uh, CD at home. So it didn't cost a lot of money. It just took a little time. Um, and well, I want to thank you for watching today. My name is Shan, and this is Shan for Crafts. God bless.